Hello everyone and welcome to my Days of Our Lives official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Johnny and Chanel cuddle up on the couch in front of the fireplace in the mansion as Constantine reveals his connection to the pawn. She kids about the Demera revile, yet Johnny advises her that his family is loaded with ladies who've experienced in the wake of wedding into the family. He suggests that they just be happy being together, citing their previous wedding as an example. As Stephanie lies in Everett's arms in bed at the Salem Motel, Everett celebrates being out of the companion zone. He didn't think she could surprise him with her beauty when he found her after spending two years obsessing over her videos and photos. At the point when she originally saw him once more, she thought, there's the person I was so frantically enamored with I could scarcely see straight. It was difficult to prevent herself from running into his arms, yet she was with Chad. She was unable to follow up on how she really felt. In the wake of seeing a film, Wendy and Tripp eat dessert in the square. Discussion about the film's plot drives Wendy to enlighten him regarding Ava's admonition not to make him extremely upset. Tripp loves his mom, yet he won't ever comprehend the reason why she does the things she does. More, Ava and Stefan are lying on their backs in bed. Here are six Korean dramas you should watch right now. Exposed under the sheet, they gaze at the roof, mouth agape. Ava and Stefan recuperate in bed subsequent to having intercourse two times. Stefan calls it extraordinary, however a serious mix-up. Ava concurs. Jumping, Ava holds her head as Stefan gets up. He whips himself for double-crossing Gabby and furiously faults Ava. She counters that they're both capable, however nobody can at any point know reality. Stefan concurs in light of the fact that he has a ton more to lose than she does. In any case, he rapidly derives she's enamored with Harris. In the recreation area, John requests Constantine let him know all that he is familiar with the pawn. Is this about Stefano? Constantine has close to zero insight into Stefano. This is about Victor and his pawn, who changed his life for eternity. John draws his gun as Constantine plays on his mind. Tell me right now what you know about me. John powerfully points his handgun at Constantine in the recreation area around evening time. At the Demera house, Johnny tells a confounded Chanel she can ridicule reviles all she needs, yet he was moved by Satan. He doesn't need her facing this sort of challenge. That's what Chanel counters in the event that Satan couldn't keep them separated, the Demeras sure can't. She has no stresses over them strolling down the path. Nonetheless, she contemplates whether this is about what Chad said, or something different. More, days cast a train wreck on most fragile connection. After an exquisite date, Abe acknowledges Paulina's challenge to come inside her loft. Later in bed, she inquires as to whether anything felt recognizable to him. It doesn't, yet he guarantees it was great. In any case, it's been some time since they've been together, and he doesn't recall what she prefers and could do without. She guarantees him he was magnificent then and brilliant at this point. Wendy tells Tripp what she asked Ava about her feelings for Harris and Stefan in the square. Tripp expects Stefan is behind anything she's stirred up in. Afterward, they see a banner for the geocaching occasion. Wendy tells him about the website's traffic, excited. He jests that all her nerd talk turns him on. She runs through more IT terms, and they rush home. In the wake of requesting room administration, Everett and Stephanie eat barbecued cheddar sandwiches. Everett recollected that she loves her French fries with farm and her numerous other food inclinations. He kisses her neck and says he likewise recollects every last trace of her. Expressing he hasn't been with anybody since the last time they were together, he assumes he felt more infatuated with her while they were separated. He recommends they move in together and take up where they left out. More, the way home stars shop talk standoff. Stephanie advises Everett to slow his role, recognizing she moved in with Chad excessively quick. There's compelling reason need to hurry. Assuming that it's genuine, it'll endure. Everett yields, however there's no doubt as far as he can tell that she's the main individual on the planet he needs to impart his life to. He inquires as to whether it's genuine for her. 
In the recreation area, Constantine yells that John came at him, however, Katharina disrupted the general flow. John asks who Katharina is. Constantine holds up the red card with an Asian sanctuary on it. He needs to understand what it implies. After seeing it, John drops his firearm, returns his hands behind his, and bows his head. Confounded, Constantine inquires as to whether John's okay. Who's John? A quelled John inquires. Constantine inquires as to whether he's the pawn. John affirms he's been called that. Constantine withdraws. At long last, after so long, I found the person who killed Katharina. More, observing Wally Kurth's day's commemoration. A youthful white lady, with long wavy light hair, gazes off with a contemplative articulation. Pink blossoms on a plant traverse a white wall behind her. Constantine reviews that a long time back in Greece, John came to Arya to hand off a message of death. My lovely Katharina! John icily sneers. Constantine pronounces somebody should pay for that. An inquisitive look crosses Constantine. He requests that John perform straightforward errands, which he faithfully does. John is then given the gun by Constantine. He instructs him to hold it to his head and fire. John presses the firearm to his sanctuary. At the chateau, Johnny guarantees Chanel he has no misgivings. He just wants to make sure that she sees everything clearly. She declares that his family doesn't startle her. He inquires about Ali, the other member of his family. I have always loved you first and foremost. Forever, she declares. However, Johnny can't quit pondering how insane they were for one another. Chanel expects to be he's stressed, she's gay. More, Johnny does not question Bellamy Young's sexual orientation when she discusses the possibility of a scandal reboot. He simply contemplates whether he'll be enough for her. She determinately states she is prepared to subscribe to one individual, and he is that individual. He safeguarded her in any event, when they weren't together and has shown her in one million ways that she is enough for him. He is all that could possibly be needed for her, until the end of time. With Johnny's feelings of trepidation let go, Chanel says they ought to seal their adoration with a kiss. Subsequent to doing as such, Johnny proposes they seal their adoration with just enough in excess of a kiss. They rush to the room. Wendy and Tripp get back home to a robe-clad Ava and a shirtless Stefan searching for his shirt in the family room. Puffing up his chest, Tripp cautions Stefan to stay away from his mom or he will think twice about it. Stefan lays a major kiss on Ava before he leaves. Really? Tripp indignantly tells Ava. She will not examine this with her child and gets back to her room. Trip Vapor More, is Constantine under pressure? In bed, Paulina tells Abe she had another ultrasound since she thinks the protuberance in her neck is improving. She's sitting tight for more data, yet being with him creates her figure she can deal with anything. It even caused her to forget for a brief period. He is unaware of her significance to this. Abe does, in fact. He was adrift out in the ocean with no memory and she was his protected harbor. Furthermore, you're mine, she says. At the point when she nods off on his shoulder, he kisses her temple with a look of concern. At the Salem Hotel, Stephanie tells Everett they ought to simply live at the time and value that they found each other once more. In the middle between kisses, he concurs there's compelling reason need to hurry. However, given that he will be meeting Chad in a few hours, he may need to sleep. Why rest by any means, Stephanie enchantingly asks, driving him back to bed. In the recreation area, Constantine prevents John from pulling the trigger. Not today, he says. John will fill a need and be Constantine's pawn. But not yet. I will exact revenge on my Katharina. He raises the card once more and leaves. John shakes violently and closes his eyes. At the point when he settles, he glances around, seeming scared and confounded.